Hello, welcome back to PowerPoints. In today's lesson, we are going to change the title of our presentation. We are going to flesh out two of our topics, and we are going to add an additional slide at the end so that we can share contact information with our audience. The key for this presentation will be to share those core elements that are the skeleton for any effective presentation that uses PowerPoint or not. So let's change the title up here. We'll call it Now you see that I typed in the outline and the text that I typed carried over here onto the slide. Let's take a look at the placeholder for the subtotal, which is, I mean, the subtitle, which is our contact information. I'm just going to move that, make a small cosmetic change. We'll add one line. And now we'll move over and start to flesh out topic number one. The first guiding principle in last lesson was less is more. Let's carry that theme out here. We'll make our title. And we will be very spare in our text that we have on the slide. Reinforce what you're saying. Don't repeat. Don't let the audience sit there passively reading your slides. Make sure that the slide, whether it's a graphic or a bullet point, reinforces your message. OK, for topic number two, let's carry that same principle out. Our title, key number two. And this time, I'm going to put the text down here. four by four rule. What do I mean by the four by four rule? Very simple. Four means no more than four bullet points per slide. By four means that on each bullet point no more than four words. In other words, don't write complete sentences out and keep the information so that it will reinforce our message. OK, one last task to do. We'll go down here to our last slide. And we want to leave uh, additional information for how the audience can contact us after the presentation. We're actually going to make a duplicate of this slide because uh, it has the formatting that we want to use as our base. So right here in front of slide number nine, I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Control D. D for duplicate. And you see we have a new additional slide that's an exact duplicate of slide number nine. We'll come over here and we'll just put in here and again it doesn't matter where we type the information what we're going to do here is we're going to include our website we'll come back and we'll clean up the text that we changed in the next lesson but for now you see how simple it is once you've decided what your message is to go about and creating a powerful presentation. Thank you, and we'll see you in the next edition of PowerPoints.